Wow! What's going on, everybody? This guy here behind me is really enjoying things. It's Sunday. I'm enjoying myself. I think I'm going to get out of the sun. I'm here at a little market. Uh, the wife and kids are standing over there. But I figured I forgot to get back to you yesterday and finish what I was talking about. So you probably want to know. And I'm going to share that and then I'm going to get back because we, we're here at a market spending some free time with the kids and they are really into reading and they're into, I don't know, I think I'm going to come back here. Ah, there you go. Um, they're into reading a lot and so they are enjoying comic books and I was, it was recommended to me by a friend of mine that there's this market here on Sundays and so guess what we did today or what we're doing this morning at least. We're standing here enjoying ourselves at the market. Kids bought some stuff. They're understanding what it means to pay a couple of euros, how difficult it can be to earn money. And so they're having an appreciation for that and they're reading. And I am here chatting with you uh, because, well, I think it's kind of fun and I want to share something with you. Um, I'm going to be sharing a lot more stuff, by the way, um, specifically on the things that we talk about here, which is helping you to make more money, helping you to have more control of your free time and live with less stress. One of those three buckets is what things will typically fit into. And I've got to get this, <laughs> I've got to share this because it was unbelievable. Um, so, so like, and I guess it, it all comes down to, if you can imagine, um, for those of you that are parents, right? If you, can you imagine if you decided that, yeah, you wanted to have children, you're fortunate enough to have children, you are, your children were born and right as they come to your home, somebody says to you, hey, listen, why don't you do me a favor? Just make sure that you give me, I don't know, call it a hundred, whatever your currency is, dollars, euros, give me a hundred a month and do that for the next 30 years. And at the end of 30 years, I'm gonna give your child back to you exactly how you want it. But during those 30 years, just give me your hundred a month. Don't do anything else. You have no say in kind of where we're going to send your child to school, what kind of education they're going to get. You're not going to get a say in any of that. You're just going to give a hundred a month, right? And so at the end of 30 years of giving a hundred a month to raise your child, what would you expect would be the result? How would your child, what would your child look like? Um, what type of attire would they uh, wear? How would they speak? Like all these things, like would they be in line with what you wanted to provide your child? I guess is the question. And the reason that I asked that is because most of the time people are, if you ask them, what is the most valuable thing that you have in your life, right? You'd say your spouse or your children. And so in the exact same way that you would treat your child, imagine just giving money and not having a say, not having any influence, not doing anything. And then at the end of 30 years or more, you would expect that your child was reared in the way that you wanted to rear them. Well, how realistic would that be? Probably not very, because you've just given money. You've not given your time. You haven't given any of your uh, influence. You haven't shared any of your experience. You've had no impact other than money. And so the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I sat in a meeting the other day about pension plans or 401ks would be the exact same thing. And I was amazed by the amount of really, really smart, smart, smart people that were in this room. And the really smart people that were in the room, hey, thanks Gilbert, appreciate you uh, with your input. Appreciate that, thanks so much, uh, kind of you. Um, but yeah, so as I was talking about this thing with sharing your, your kids and I was then, I was in a meeting with people that were talking about uh, putting money into a pension plan or a 401k and all this kind of stuff. And so it, I thought in the exact same way, like you would put your money into a place where you actually have no say, you would do that for 30 years. And then when it's actually time to like see your child, just like it's time to retire, would it actually be in line with what you want? Because you've actually paid no attention to your own retirement. You've just put money into a certain place because it was the easiest thing to do. Like you haven't actually studied, you haven't done any of the hard work. So why would you expect your child or why would you expect your, the outcome or the result of your pension plan or your 401k to be what you expected? Because you don't pay any attention to it for 30 years. You just put money to the side. And I just thought that was kind of strange, right? 
um, and I guess also too because I'm seeing the world in a very different way I'm really into helping you to become more aware of what you're doing and the way that you're using your money right and then ultimately being able to use your time kind of like today right I'm spending my free time with the family and getting ready to get back to them but I just wanted to share that with you because it is a, a thought that I had I was thinking about yeah 401k it's really similar with my own children I spend time with my children I talk to them I share insights I listen to them they share with me and there's a great communication so I'm pretty comfortable that as they get closer to um, but being adults that they'll be in line with what you know my wife and I were hoping to teach them and so I would say take the responsibility for your financial well-being and don't just blindly give it to somebody else and expect to get the result um, if you blindly give it to someone you can get any result period because you're not really paying attention you're just giving money and money is so definitely just a small portion of the overall picture but anyway, so I just wanted to share this with you. If you think it's interesting, if you think the, the thoughts could help somebody else, feel free to share it um, or leave your comments, right? Um, I always appreciate that. So um, one way or the other, this is BK. It's my two cents for today. Enjoy your Sunday, as always. Hasta la próxima.